right friends this is the eighth mini capsule for the week new regime in south korea and please look into this this is korean peninsula and north korea south korea so what are the important problems before going ahead please understand south korea is the traditional ally of united states of america and now north korea because of its nuclear tests missile tests now a lot depends on south korea and another important aspect is third missile defense system is being established in south korea because of this china is also not happy so under the circumstances new president was elected in south korea former president park yuhai was impeached because of choi soon sin she was at the center of controversy and now elections were held moon jae in was selected as the south korea's president with the 41% of the mandate and if you go back to the recent events park joo hai the former president was impeached by the south korean parliament and here she was south korea's first woman president as well as first democratically elected south korean leader to be forced out of office and why she was forced out she was accused of abusing power to help choi soon sil to extort funds from companies please look into this picture because of choi soon sil she lost power and subsequently now elections are held and mr moon got elected as the south korean president and his initial reaction is he declared his intention to visit pyongyang and hold discussions with washington beijing and tokyo and this is the most welcome step and this type of multilateralism is required to solve the issue of north korea and he was previously human rights lawyer and now his positive note for this kind of multilateralism assumed significance which is required to lower tensions in the korean peninsula at the same time he also allayed the apprehensions as people assumed that mr moon may be soft towards north korea right now what are the challenges the first and the foremost is with regard to thought now the united states of america is installing this terminal high altitude area defense and anti missile system in south korean soil so this third missile is being established what is the purpose of third missile the purpose is to intercept north korea's increasingly sophisticated missile launches and already with regard to third missiles china raised apprehensions why china raised apprehensions because of the reason china is geographically very nearer to north korea so china feels that third radar could undermine its own defense infrastructure so because of that china is also objecting for third missile defense system china would like nothing less than the complete withdrawal of the defense shield so whether this is going to happen or not only time can say so this is about the third defense missile system then the next one is relations with the neighbors mr moon is normally known for accommodative stance and how he is going to deal with the north korea is very very important for the region as a whole and peaceful coexistence of the neighbors may prevail moon's strategy over other factors so if this is the case we are going to see the betterment of relations between south korea and north korea who are technically at war since 1953 because no peace treaty was signed only armistice was signed and quite often escalation of tensions takes place between north korea and south korea but mr moon is known for following the accommodative stance and let us hope north korea is due to be solved to some extent and the other important aspect for south korean leader is south korea has been rocked in recent months by the influence peddling scandal involving miss park 
and executives from top business houses. We have already discussed because of Choi Soon Sil, she had to leave the office, and the need of the hour now is to live up to the expectations of the people who demonstrated on the streets. In fact, the several people came onto the streets for the ouster of the former president, and they are also not happy with the conventional chabol system of family-owned enterprises. This chabol system, this is a conventional system being followed in South Korea, where the chairman or the family-owned enterprise will yield lot of power. And here the corporational structure or organizational structure needs improvement. That is the most important aspect. So, if you look at South Korea, two, three things are very important. One is what will happen to the third missile system or you can say third defense missile system. Second point is how the relations between South Korea and North Korea will improve in the near future so as to de-escalate the tensions. Third point is what is going to be the relation between South Korea and China. Then the next important point is how the corporate governance structure in South Korea will improve because the corporate governance structure needs improvement because the country is following conventional chabol system of family owned enterprises. And another important aspect is the country has got vibrant and independent judiciary that is one biggest advantage and he can depend on vibrant and independent judiciary and an effective parliament to ensure transparency and accountability. Right. Let us say good wishes to Mr. Moon who is the new president of South Korea. He is taking over at the circumstances when the tensions because of North Korea's attitude are increasing day by day. Right friends, this concludes new president to South Korea. Have a nice day. Thank you.